What up everybody, AKB Fry here. So today we have Gain's Carnival, or otherwise known as The Last Day. So the last time I reacted to Gain was Paradise Lost and Apple, both of which made Gain look very, very good. <laughs> anyway, let's get right into it. Six minutes, I wonder if this is like a whole skit with it too. Must be, has captions too. Okay. She's getting married? Has a letter. Well, I'm not sure what kind of ceremony is going on. She. She looks good in this one too. Has like a doll feel to her. Like a carnival feel to her. She's a unicorn. What's you looking at? Oh, this is nice. Reminds me of Hunchback of Notre Dame music. Never mind. This is already an emotional roller coaster in the first like 30 seconds. Oh my. This is so good. It's like they're at a funeral. Let's travel back to the day I was never there. So that I don't have to worry. Oh my. When the carnival opens. I don't think you need an umbrella. It looks bright and sunny. This is so good. There's a whole thing with umbrellas. It was a pink umbrella, now a black umbrella. Blocking the sun. Just like in Paradise Lost, she really likes to interpret a dance, is what it seems like. Oh, oh, uh... Okay, good. It's not a... it's not white. Still see-through, though. <laughs> Just playing. Have you guys ever played in the rain? It's actually one of the most fun things to do. When the carnival opens tonight, forget about me. So yeah, she's like dressed up like, I don't want to say a carnival girl, but more show girly. Like very showy. That has like a Willy Wonka feel to it. They're like praising her like a god, or if she's dead and this is her spirit. Yeah, like this is her soul. And she passed away. Is Carnival supposed to be like her life or the afterlife? That's so cool!
This is actually just like a six minute song. I don't understand. Yeah, they all look so depressed besides her. She's... This song just feels liberating. Like it's in a play. It definitely feels like you'd hear this in a play. Or is she getting married? She's dead? Is yellow the flowers of death? I thought that was black. Carnival, the last day. She was dead. And again, Gain. Wow, that was really good. Was the carnival supposed to symbolize her life? Yeah, so the carnival's supposed to be her life, and then she has like a line, I take it all in and disappear like the fireworks. You take in life and you just get swept up by it, right? Like the fireworks. When you see fireworks, that's what it is. You kind of stop what you're doing, you look up and you see it go up in the sky, just maj majestic, going all the way up to hit its like crescendo of exploding into whatever shapes and colors, and then that's it, it fades. This is a very good allegory for life. Life is so short, so much can happen in it though, but before you know it, it's over just like that. You gotta make sure you do things that you wanna do in your life. This song is really good, and the best way I could put it is it sort of got me attached to this character of this music video. Obviously it's Gain, but this it got me attached to this girl who talks about a carnival, where I'm like actually sad of how it ended. So it's very well done, where you're happy, you don't know why you're so happy, you just, you're observing, I guess, this fleeting moment. Sort of like when the firework explodes, you have this like huge smile on your face, you get hit with the sound, and then you, you kind of just return back to like sort of a normal state when it fades away, waiting for the next firework, the next exciting moment. And you can also take it sort of like the carnival itself is her life, and the firework is sort of like her soul going off into the afterlife. You really have to make sure to spend time with the ones you love and enjoy every moment of life because of how short it is. Too deep? I gotta say though, I really, really like the analogy. I've never heard an analogy of using carnival to life like that. Also, the whole style of the song was very carnivalistic, very playwrighty. It's a song that you would see her performing um, in a play that you'd sit down for and people would come out with like streamers being like fireworks and she'd be doing the dance that she did here going through quick uh, clothes change maybe as she's just singing with this booming orchestra behind her playing. I really like how she's keeping this sort of style unique to her and not being swept in by what's new. That's what makes this whole market of K-pop amazing is the new stuff with all the new sounds and everything is quite quite amazing. I love it, but I also do love just sitting there and listening to a good like playwright orchestral jazzy type piece like this. You guys must also have multiple songs in your playlist. Well, not every single playlist is the same. It depends on what mood you're in and what you want to listen to. So she's sort of holding that cornerstone of being, I guess, the genre of a gain. Nothing really like it. This is beyond music too. This is an entire art masterpiece. Like music is art, but she incorporates so many different fields of art into this work, so much emotion that gets portrayed. She was going through the different colors. He has a red umbrella, or a pink umbrella, a black umbrella. It's just, there's so much symbolism that I'm probably missing. So yellow roses mean happiness and bringing cheer and, you know, very warm feelings. So I guess at the end you can say they weren't, they weren't mourning her death. They were celebrating her life, which is the best thing you can do for somebody. I'm getting getting soft right here. Gotta push down those emotions again. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like it if you like it and leave any more suggestions down below as well. And until next time, bye.